So I didn't watch any videos on how to do this. So welcome to my life. Um, so that's all out of the way. I don't know if I want to take this off. I think I might take this off just to give myself more room. Mm -hmm. So I think I might do that. I do have to drain the oil because we're doing the oil filter housing gasket. So theoretically we should drain the oil. So that's what I'm going to do. Fuck. All right. Uh, <laughs> so let's, let's fucking do this. Transition to epic montage. Okay guys, we're back. Um, sorry I haven't gave you guys updates throughout like the process of me doing this. I just kind of got into a workflow and just started digging into this and just trying to get everything apart so I can get this done as quickly as possible. So I apologize for not going step by step, but let me show you the progress we made. So long story short of what I did is I ended up taking off this, uh, this coolant hose. Um, I ended up pulling the radiator. I ended up getting off the belts. And once the belts were off, I unbolted the power steering uh, reservoir that sits like right here. I just moved that off to the side in the meantime. And then I ended up uh, getting off the alternator, which was these two bolts right here. Uh, alternator's right there. As you can see, there's only two bolts that hold that guy in. Uh, and then obviously the two clips that are, that are on it for the power. Um, so right now, the dilemma of what we're trying to do is holding this on is actually, I believe it's six bolts. Uh, so far it looks like there's six bolts. Uh, one here, over here, uh, one right here, there, and then these two on the bottom. And so far it looks, it looks like there's one plug. There might be two plugs. I'm not fully sure on this, so don't call me on that. So yeah, there's that. And then also um, once that's off, um, this, this, uh, I believe this is an oil line, uh, the Vanos oil line. I have a new one of those bad boys that's gonna go on as well. Um, so right now I'm going to try to take the oil filter housing completely off of those six bolts. I don't know if there's more than one plug. Um, this is my first time digging into a BMW. So all you BMW guys out there, please don't be too hard on me. I'm learning as I go. Um, not 100% because this is my first BMW, uh, but I'm digging into it and I just want to replace this gasket. So let's, let's get this uh, housing off and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm back. So I ended up taking off the oil filter housing. Um, it's actually right here. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna clean all this. I'm gonna replace the gasket and the tensioner and get it all set up to go back in. Um, it was the six bolts. Um, if you guys are doing this by yourself at home, they're all different sizes. Remember where they go in because that's important. They're all different sizes. It's literally a mess uh, because it was leaking. Um, so I ended up taking it out, those six bolts, and it was two plugs, uh, two of these guys. I actually lost one of the metal clips for the one. So that's gonna be really fun trying to find. It's not fun when you lose stuff. Um, and then also my power steering, um, I actually had to uh, disconnect this bolt right here and then these two uh, to get it out. So it was the power steering pump, those two bolts, and the one underneath on the bottom, and then these six bolts and then two plugs. And it came out. So right now I'm gonna end up probably cleaning everything on it uh, just to make sure it's, you know, there's no oil or anything. This way if it does leak, I know where it's leaking from and there's not a whole bunch of excess oil all over the entire motor. And another thing, I'm going to try to take off the water pump um, because I got a brand new water pump because if I'm removing all this stuff, I might as well just replace the water pump while I'm at it. It is making sound. That's no bueno, so I'm gonna replace that. But I'm gonna clean all this up, I'm gonna try to find that clip, and I'm gonna start slapping a whole bunch of stuff back together.
All right, if you got to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I do this really cool thing where I lose the rest of the footage, so this is really all I have of this video. I apologize that this is not an actual tutorial on how to replace this part. I kind of wanted just to make a entertaining video while I had to do this to begin with, so let me know if you guys want to see some more videos of the BMW on the channel. Um, I also have uh, Subaru STI that you guys seen at the beginning of this video. I have a lot of stuff to do to that car, so... If you guys have any suggestions of anything you guys really want to see, let me know in the comment section down below, and until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for sticking around.